Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are seeing my face for the first time, my name is Agome Bunameze Halike, Nigerian YouTuber based in Abuja, FCT Nigeria, which creates content around food, motherhood, and the rest of them. So today I'll be showing you how to cook or father sauce jello fries. So if you would love to know more, keep watching and let's run my intro. guys i'll be taking you through the ingredients immediately here we have salt we have seasoning cubes we have ogilo bay this is ogilo bay and then um, we have um the um tatashi roughly blended we have um local rice here parboiled rice um we have red oil we have onions and um i want to have this um pepper soup spice vibes that is um, the ingredients that will be needing. So right now we'll be bleaching our oil. So there is no difference um, with how you cook your ofada sauce. The only difference here is that you cook your ofada sauce and then you pour rice inside. So we'll be bleaching our oil right now. So here is our, oil, um, our pot. I'll be pouring our oil. So I have finished pouring our oil inside the pot. So I'll be covering this for it to get very hot. Now the trick about bleaching your oil is that you shouldn't cover the pot very well so that mistakenly it doesn't catch fire. And when you're bleaching your oil, please reduce the heat of your gas. Let it bleach on low heat. Yes, so we'll be bleaching this for 10 to 15 minutes and I will show you the process. So here is our bleached oil. So I'll be adding our onions right now. So I'll be adding our tatashi right now. Some people actually use um, the pepper that is not this red. You can tell the people selling the pepper to select the ones that are not too red. Those ones that will be green or fairly green. So you can use and make your own. But mine, mostly I use this one that is red. So you have to stir this. Let it simmer before you can add your ingredients. Of other sauce is very easy to cook, like very, very easy. Okay. So I'll be adding our other ingredients. I'm sorry I didn't show for a fish in the beginning, so I'll be adding our seasoning cubes. And um of other rice doesn't really need much much ingredients. So I'll be putting this I'll put it on the fire for it to roast for some time. Roasting this brings out the scent the more. Scent, scent. It brings out the scent the more. So I'll be adding in our crayfish, enough crayfish if you're the crayfish type. Yes, and we'll be churning this. So this is how I fry my ogiro bay. Okay, I'll be putting it under the lights. You can see. So let it roast a little. You will notice the scent. If you usually put like that and when you roast, you will see the difference. So here is our ogilo bay. You can see the smoke coming out of it. So I'll be using this, just pressing it down a little on a very clean surface. So, or you can pound yours with something else before you can add. So here is it and I'll be adding it. Yeah. This ogilo bay takes your or father sauce from 100 to 200. Some people actually use iru, but I, I haven't, I don't like it. So that's it. That's why I put iru, but it's all about individual differences. So I use ogilo bay. So I'll keep stirring this and we'll leave it to simmer, still simmer it. Adjust your taste, test it to know if it has enough seasoning that you need or you want so that's it so here is our stew it has simmered, simmered so i'll be reducing some before i add my meat water so here is it just add take out a little so here is our meat water and i will turn because your parboiled rice is not well cooked so you need water that will cook the rice. So here is it. It's on. So here is our mixture. So I'll be adding our rice into this right now and turning it so. 
So here's our rice. I'll be turning this into this place. So I'll be using a turner, a wooden stick to turn this so that it doesn't burn. That's what I learned. So I'll be turning this and I'll show you. So here's our rice. So I'll be adding more water here. Yes. Then I'll be adding more stew. It depends on how you want, how red you want it. So I'll remain this one. So I will turn everything. I've already adjusted our seasoning. Remember that when you pour water, you need to adjust your seasoning. So I've already adjusted mine. So I finished turning this. So here is our rice. So I will be covering this. If you have a foil, you use a foil. If you have a parchment paper, you use a parchment paper. Me, my foil has finished. So I'll be using this. It just needs heat. That is how the rice will boil. Mm? You cover it. Put it and cover. So you have you just have to be checking it. So this rice will be cooking for 10 to 15 minutes and um, we'll see how it goes. So I'll be checking our rice right now. I reduce the lights and then to medium heat. Paka, paka. So before that, I'll be adding our onions, finishing touch. Yes, you just have to check if the rice is getting cooked. If you want it more soft, you can add water. But if you want it dry, you can still leave it how you have put it. So here is our rice. I don't want to go deep. So this pepper soup um, spice stuff, I want to put it at the finishing touch so that the scent will come out well. Okay, so here is our rice. So I'll be adding this um, in Chiang. You can see it's freshly cut from my backyard. So it's just a twist, just a little. I won't be adding much. So I'll be cut. I've already watched this and um, I'll be cutting it. So I'll show you. I want to cut it very tiny. So I'll be checking our rice for the final time. So here is our rice, all lush, lush and fresh. So I just want to do a twist to this rice. So I'll be adding this um, nchiaun to it, okay? Just finely cut. Just look at the color. Eh? Look at this color. If you go no, ah, how? Ouch, ouch. This one is food orgasm. Food orgasm. Mm? So here is our rice. I'll be turning this very well. You see, the nchiang is just giving it a different, a different color. So right now I'll be adding that um, pepper soup spice that I told you about. Okay. Oh, this in though. This is as in how oh, the scent is something else. Okay. So I'll still be adding more nchiang just for color, just to make it colorful. Mm? Now you stir everything. Mm? Stir. So here's our rice. I'll be dishing it out. So here's our rice with um fried goat meat. So here is it. Here you have a rice in a way. Rice in your cup. So this is our Ofada jello rice. Ofada sauce jello rice. So here is it. Mm?